Good morning guys! How are you doing today? Let me know, like literally let me know in the comments. Comment down below right now how you are doing today. Out of 10. Write down a number from 1 to 10. I hope it's a 10 or an 8 or a 9. Um, just a little thing, if it's not, if it's like a 3, 4, 5 or 6 kind of thing, then I'll give you a little tip to help you make you happier. This is what I do sometimes. Buy myself a new toothbrush. Not particularly this one. There's nothing special about this one. It's not even in focus. Nothing special about that toothbrush. But buying a new toothbrush always makes me happy. Don't know why. Maybe, oh, what the noise was that? We've got pterodactyl in here. And I'm now all dressed and ready and out for the day. We are off to Churchill Square for something which is super, super fun. How excited are you? I'm so excited. I can't. I'm like literally wetting myself, guys. We're going to the bank for a meeting. Oh my god, yeah! <laughs> Joking, it's going to be really, really boring. Bank meeting is complete, guys, and it failed after literally being in there for 45 minutes. All me and Zoe wanted to do was set up a joint bank account so that we can just pay things like electricity bills, water bills, when we buy food shopping, we can pay it from one bank account that we both share so everything is split evenly. At the moment we just take it in turns. At the moment we just take it in turns and I'll go shopping and it'll be like, oh, 20 pounds. And Zoe will go shopping and it'll be like, 100 pounds. And then it's like, oh, that was a bit unfair. You pay the net and it, it's too messy. So we tried to sort it out today. And then it just got so confusing in there and it, it, it just felt like they didn't even know what they were doing, trying to make a joint bank account. So we just said, okay, don't worry, we're just going to go with somebody else. So we're going to go with another bank provider. Um, I don't even know. But now, we're off to another meeting with an accountant. We finished our accountancy meeting, guys. And now, we are off to a god. Oh, no, it is open. I can see people in there. Yeah, but have they I want to go to an aquatic village. We are now at a garden centre <laughs> in <laughs> Worthing. Said aquatic village. No, aquatic village, just over there. Quick, Although my camera can't. Go, quick. Focus. Focus! It won't focus. Go Zoe, quick, run! Let's see if it's open. Is it open? Is it open? Till eight. See, I told you late night shopping. Oh, here it is. Here's my house. Oh, I can't go in. Right, basically guys, finished up all the stuff we need to do. Why is there half a boat as a shelf? What is that? Um, and I was like, you wanted to come to a garden scent. That is the lankiest Christmas tree I've ever seen in my whole life. Why? Why? No, Zoe, we're not Christmas decoration shopping. Oi, it's January. We're going to a masquerade ball if they need a point. We're not. <laughs> Do you know what this reminds me of? Has anyone seen what? the labyrinth? Oi, that's a small plant pot. Okay, so we just got told a woman who worked there um, was a viewer, like one of you guys. Hi, if you're watching. Um, she just said that the aquatic fish place over the road, which is just here, closes at yeah. 6 o'clock and it's 10 minutes to 6. Maybe we should go in Hobbycraft too. So we're going to quickly nip to the aquatic shop. fish village. Wait, can we check what time Hobbycraft shuts? And okay. then the garden centre closes at 8. Don't worry, I got that. And then the garden centre closes at 8, which means that we can go back afterwards. I'm so excited to see some fish. This sounds really weird, but I've, I've really, I've always wanted like tropical, no, you know, salt fish. They're the ones. <laughs> Yo, look at the, look how big these are. That's what I was Guys, like. and compared to my hand, like that is literally, that's nearly as big as you, Zoe, that. What's that one on the bottom? I want this little guy. I think he's in the wrong tank. <laughs> no, yeah, look how not. cool <laughs> she is. No, look, there's a little red one up there. <laughs> Focus camera. Oh, wait, yeah, there's one. This one. oh hey. That one's like Katniss catching fire. Where are we going now? This is Zoe's like favourite place. You get one we haven't even decided what we're getting yet. Yes, just what I wanted. Some plywood. Yes. Spray paint, you're gonna do some graffiti. You nutter. Now Zoe wants to buy some plant pots, some like tiny little plant pots. What are they called? I want to get some succulent. No, that's the one. A succulent from the garden centre and then spray their plant pots like copper. brass colour or copper colour and stuff like that. Colour. Which will look. This colour's sick, it's like rose gold. Does anyone else love this stuff? Like, I, it's £1.39, so I'm not going to buy it just for that. But I really, really want to squeeze this. We are now back inside the garden centre. 
and we're getting some little, what are these called again? Succulents. Some succulents, I like the look of this one. Like Although look at this it. guy, look at this succulent. At this this one's sick. No, be, being serious though, why is that one a sheep? Looks like it's covered in Touch it, I dare you to touch its fur. No. Go on. It might I, hurt the cactus. No, go on, I it would hurt the cactus. Go on, touch it. Is it furry? Yeah. And our garden centre shopping is complete. We've got some compost, some special compost. This is Zoe's selection. Are you happy? Yeah. And this is my selection. I love this one you've got. It's cool, isn't it? Some pruning scissors, some long handle scissors, and... Mm, knob cutters. Knob cutters. Ah, I get you. Oi. Some <laughs> knob cutters. Guys. Put this in your bonsai tree. They have so many dog toys here, guys. This is so cool. Look at all of these. That's sick. A fling a ring launcher. <laughs> it's like a you throw, throw a, I can't even speak. Throw a frisbee. <coughs> oh, that one doesn't make a noise. <laughs> Oh, Nala would love it here. We're back home now, guys. We just picked up Nala, and I bought her a new toy. I bought her this, which I know, I know, I know is for a cat, but I know she is going to love it. Oh, her little paws. Oh, get it, Nala. Oh. Oh. Get it, Nala. Get it. Get it. Yes. So, Cherry and Morgan are over now. We kicked Che at the house because we don't really like him. So us three are just hanging out with Nala, us four. Sorry. Sorry, Nala. I forgot you were there. We just got pizza face. Mine looks so disgusting on camera. But I promise you, caramelized. No, not caramelized. Or maybe. Some kind of onion, which I don't like onion, but this onion I love. And I'm just putting my daily vlog live now. And we're watching the worst program in the world which is Celebrity Big Brother. So Morgan and Che have now left and Zoe's gone to bed. It is currently half past two in the morning. I've literally just been planning more stuff for the secret project coming soon. And I know it sounds like a lot of rubbish and a lot of talk, this secret project. Um, but don't worry guys, something is coming. I just uploaded a new video tonight, as you saw, which was called something along the lines of my new secret project. Something like that, wait one minute, let me get comfy. There we go. Yeah, I just uploaded a new video. Oh, nice hair outfit, I just realized I probably look like an egghead. Um, oh well, it's so late at night, I literally don't even care what I look like. I just uploaded a new video called My Secret Project, or My New Secret Project. Anyways, Alfie, get on with the video. Um, and I obviously said that there was something happening, something new, something that was gonna make me unable to upload my videos on time upload more gaming videos, everything like that, and everybody in the comments, or not everybody, but probably like quite a few people in the comments, and the comments are getting quite a lot of thumbs up. They're like, please don't tell me you're getting a production team. Please don't get other people to film and edit your videos. Please don't do this, don't do that. And I'm like, guys, you're all just making the like, cr most crazy assumptions ever. Just because I said it was gonna help me make my videos uh, like more scheduled and on time and easier. It doesn't mean that I've now got people filming them, people editing them, people doing this and that. Um, that's not the case. But I, I can't, I, I don't understand, even if I did, if I did, I don't understand, I, I don't get what's bad with that. Like, I understand that you guys, that the whole, like, I've always done everything myself with YouTube, and I have, and, like, still now, like, even my merch designs and that, I've still gone out and I've, like, employed people to design them. Like, I can't physically design it myself, but I've been like, yes, I like that. Oh, can you change that? Can you use this colour? Can you use this font? Can you do that? And I've, like, helped people, like, design the front cover of my book and things. But along the way, there are going to be people that help YouTubers out do things, guys, and you're kind of just going to have to accept that. Um, like, some videos, for example... For a great example, I shot like an adventure video with Jim quite a while ago on my main YouTube channel where we were doing like different challenges like rock climbing and surfing and stuff like that. We were on the uh, Quantum of the Seas. Um, and I got one of my friends, Morgan, you, the one, he was over tonight. He was over tonight sitting on the sofa with me. Um, I got him to come along as you saw in the daily vlogs and he helped film it. He didn't edit it, but he helped film it. And that's fine. 
because I was in the video, I can't physically move and walk around with the camera myself. Like, how, how do you expect me to film those kind of videos? Um, and then I also, the main channel video that I uploaded yesterday, and I told everybody in the video, and it was in the description, and I said yesterday, that was edited by one of you guys that I blooming loved it, and you have amazing editing skills, a girl called Hi N, and um, we worked together, and we planned like which parts of the videos I wanted in. She basically made some amazing editing videos. I told you in yesterday's video. Um, so I was like, oh, do you reckon we could team up and work together on like a video for my channel, like a roundup? And that was cool. But yeah, I'm not saying that I'm getting a team of people that isn't the secret project. Don't worry, it's much cooler than that. Um, but theoretically, if I was to, which I'm not, don't worry, but if I was to get a team of people to like help me film my videos, I don't see, I literally can't, I don't understand how that would be a bad thing. It would just make the videos better quality for you. And if I was to ever hire an editor to help me edit the videos, that would be for two reasons. Number one, the videos would therefore be better quality because they'd be done by somebody who is better at editing than me. Otherwise, there'd be no point in hiring them. Or number two, that, oh no, that goes alongside with number one that I have got no time to edit them because I'm so busy. Anyways, I just thought I would clear up and I've rambled on and on and on now. Um, but I don't understand how if I was to ever, because a lot of you in the comments will go nuts about it, which it's not. I'm not getting a production team, don't worry. But if I was to ever get somebody to help me edit my videos or help me film my videos or plan my videos, I don't get how that's a bad thing. I literally don't understand it. It would just mean better videos for you guys. Anyways, yeah, that's not the secret project. The secret project is cool, and it's fun, and it's awesome. I'm not gonna do my typical, guys, I'm tucked up in bed shot today, because I just wanna go and get into bed and write loads of ideas down and not wake Zoe up because she's already been in bed for like two or three hours. So I'm gonna go to sleep now, guys. Thank you so much for watching today. I'm sorry that I just rambled the last eight minutes or so to you, but I just wanted to make it very clear that the sequel project is not that I'm getting a production team. However, if I was, which I'm not, that is not a bad thing. Anyways, or not just me, anybody. I also might be having a friend come over tomorrow who you guys all know and love, which is exciting. So, I will see you then. Give me a hug. Oh, this is nice, isn't it? <laughs> Good night, guys. I love you.